Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create 3D print models using AI. This is gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create 3D print models using a tool known as Meshi AI. And I wanna be upfront that there's a million different ways to do this, but I have found this to be the easiest. I've been creating tons of 3D models that I can sell or give away, and I'm confident that anybody can do this. Let's get started. Step number one, what we wanna do is find an image of the object Object that we want to turn into a 3d model so what I'm gonna do is actually go into canva I'm gonna create a new project here I'm gonna do a custom size and I just want something square so I'm gonna do a 600 by 600 and I'm actually gonna upload my image of a dog that I want to turn into a 3d print so here is the image right here and then next what you want to do is you want to bring your image into canva and you want to bring it into your new project here is one of my favorite French Bulldogs we are going to 3d print him so next what we want to do here is we want to remove the background so canva actually has this amazing tool called the background remover tool so I'm just gonna click on that and it is going to remove the background this is going to help the tool read it as far as like making a 3d illustration or a model out of it then what you want to do is you want to increase the size a little larger the larger it is the better because that allows the 3d tool to scan the image better so then I'm gonna name this file as dog then step number two what we need to do here is download the image in canva so just click on download choose your size larger is better I'm gonna do 825 by 825 and then download it and then step number three what we want to do here is open a new browser window and go to meshi.ai I'll also throw my affiliate link in the description if you need help getting there this tool is absolutely bonkers it's been blowing my mind and yes, it is a paid tool, but if you use my affiliate link in the description, you'll get a free trial, but you won't be able to download the files without signing up. But guys, this tool is only $20 a month to start. I've been getting a lot of complaints like, oh, it's a paid tool. But guys, when you see what this tool does, like it's gonna blow your mind. All right, so back to the dashboard here in Meshi AI. So there's a couple different features on what we can do. What we wanna do is click this feature right here, image to 3D. So click on that. And then next, what we wanna do is upload our image over here. I know there's a bunch of different settings that you could get lost in, but this is, I'm going to make this really simple for you guys. So just click right here and then upload your image and then name your file dog 3d and then click on generate and here's the file it made in around 30 seconds. Like if your mind isn't blown away by this tool, I don't know what's going to do it for you. All right. And then the next step, what we want to do here is we want to download the STL file. So go down here where it says download and then choose STL and then click download. And yes, this tool actually adds color to the prints, but we're going to get to that in a minute. I'm going to keep doing some more files and just show you how crazy this is. All right, and then next what you wanna do is open up your slicer, and then we're gonna create a new project. I'm gonna be using Bamboo Studio. Then we're going to import the file, click on the plus button. We're going to import the dog file right here. Rescale accordingly, want them a little smaller than that. Gonna move them over here a little bit. So one setback to AI modeling is that it's not good at planning where your supports go, so make sure you enable supports, and we're gonna take a look at where they are. All right, so those supports aren't too bad. We're gonna send that off to the printer and take a look at the results. So I 3D printed this one on the Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer and it turned out pretty good. Like I said, a lot of the work that you need to put in with these AI models is pretty much where the supports are and how they sit on the build plate. I found that one of the biggest obstacles. But for doing what we're doing here, I mean, we're turning an image into a 3D model using AI. Like this tool known as Meshi AI, it's absolutely blowing me away. Yes, could there be some things we need to work on? Of course. But this, within a couple of minutes, I turned an image into a 3D model and 3D printed it. Like, I'm still blown away by this. All right, so let's try another one, right? If you're not fully convinced, I need you to get here. All right, so someone just sent me this yesterday. It says, can you 3D print a model or create a 3D printed model from my son's drawing? This is a Roblox style character. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get crazy. I'm going to save this image and then I'm going to bring it to ChatGPT. So I'm essentially turning a drawing into a 3D model using AI. So this uh, th this is gonna blow some minds, right? So let's go to ChatGPT. Let's upload the image here. And here's the image right here. I'm gonna talk to ChatGPT, don't judge me. Can you turn this drawing a child drew into a Roblox style character that's realistic? All right guys, here it is. That's absolutely crazy. This is the image and this is the rendering it came up with insane. 
All right, next, let's directly take that image and put it into Meshi AI. So we're gonna go back to the dashboard here and I need this function here where it says image to 3D. Then I'm going to upload the image that we have that ChatGPT made us. And I am going to click on generate. Here is the model it created. Like I'm thoroughly blown away by that. Let's compare this. Look at this character here compared to the model it created. Like it's crazy. Like look at the details in the mouth. Like if you're not convinced AI can be doing this it, with 3D modeling, like you're missing out, man. Like, cause this is absolutely crazy. And I quick wanna show you guys some other AI models that I've created. So this is a car. So I got a comment a couple days ago, someone stating that you can't do complicated things. So here is a car that it made and it made it from this image right here. Like, isn't that kind of crazy? This is it guys, it's right here, it just modeled the car for me. And my daughter was asking me for a small little Barbie table that she could be using. All I did was give it a prompt right here. You can give it prompts as well, you don't even need images. We printed this. I told it to make me a 90 degree elbow. Here it is, it did it in about 20 seconds. We asked it to make us some fake dog poop, a 3D model using AI. Here it is, we 3D printed it. We were trying to make a small little Barbie 3D printed bathtub. It gave it a prompt and here it is, it made it. So if you're not getting the hint, I'm completely blown away, guys. Again, the link will be in the description to Meshi AI. Let's get back to the tutorial. And actually, I told you that this tool will actually color it. So what you wanna do here is you just click on this texture button down here, and then you go over here and then hit the texture button. This is what it came up with adding color. Like that's pretty crazy, right? I've actually been having a lot of issues with it saving the color into the slicers. For some reason, it just doesn't save over. But what you can do is just download the regular model and then color it with different filament paint colors in your slicer. All right, so I'm gonna download the single color file. All right, so we're back in Bamboo Studio. Create a new project. We're going to import this file. I'm going to scale it accordingly. And what we wanna be careful of is supports. I can tell any of the overhangs, like especially these glasses, it's kind of gonna be tough, man. Those glasses look really thin. But yeah, we're gonna add some supports and just send it to the 3D printer. Aha, I'm excited to see how it turns out, guys. Let's go to the 3D printer. As I'm sitting here watching my 3D printer print something that I created using AI in a couple of minutes, I cannot express how thoroughly blown away I am. I know a lot of people complain about AI wrecking the 3D printing hobby, but it allows hobbyists to utilize AI to be able to create models in a couple of minutes. Like it's absolutely mind blowing. You do have to be careful of where the supports are maybe gonna wind up, but knowing that, like look at this, like it absolutely worked. Everything totally worked. I created a 3D model in a couple of minutes using Meshi AI and everything worked out. I can sell this model, I can give it away. Hopefully this tutorial helped you learn how to create 3D models using AI. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create 3D models using Meshi AI. Check out the channel for more awesome 3D printing related videos like this and don't forget to subscribe.